these DC and Marvel crossover type videos have been doing really well for me lately, and a lot of you guys seem to be enjoying them, so why stop now? Today it's going to be on who would DC's Avengers be. Technically in Earth 7 or 8 or something like that, DC does have their own Avengers-esque type team. It's basically Marvel's Avengers, just with different appearances and names for the Marvel characters. Now the way I've always seen the Avengers is just a group of people who really don't have anything in common. Their personalities, attitudes, and powers couldn't be any more different, yet they all do have one thing in common, which is to avenge. Now I'm not really huge into Marvel too much, so maybe if someone here is big into Marvel, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that, but that's just how I've always seen them. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna give you four teams. Unlike the Sinister Six video, this isn't going to be three teams and then the fourth team is my personal favorite team. It is simply just four teams that I created. I did try to create teams of DC characters who do feel a little different to one another, but could still operate well as a team. I just wanted to try and bring in other characters into the fold and make these teams look different than your obvious Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. But with that being said, team one is going to have that Trinity effect. The first team I like to think would actually be the real Avengers team within a DC universe. We got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Green Arrow, Black Canary, and Martian Manhunter. For Superman, we have him taking the role of Captain America. Their powers may not be exactly the same. Sure, they both have super strength. Superman is just on a multiversal level compared to Captain America. But the things that are very specific about them is their patriotic beliefs, their stance on hope, truth, and justice. 100% if these guys met, they would easily get along. Batman is essentially going to be the Iron Man of the group. They're both super smart, technological geniuses, even though Tony might be a little smarter than Batman when it comes to technology. But Batman Batman is smart in literally all types of categories. They both create suits, suits that are capable of doing many different things and keeping them protected from powers that are far above them. They're both billionaire playboys. Batman is on the Avengers. Now I went with Wonder Woman to take the role of Thor. Thor takes a lot of similarities from a lot of DC characters, but I decided to go with Wonder Woman because there is a lot of similarities with the both of them. The fact that they're both prince or princess. They're from a different land, Amazon, Asgard. They both have ancient history, mythology ties, Norse mythology, Greek mythology. It just made sense. For the Hawkeye role, I gave it to Green Arrow. I'm pretty Pretty sure that's self-explanatory, don't really need to go into too much detail for that. Then you have Black Canary for Black Widow, and they do share some similarities. I wouldn't say they are exactly just shot for shot the same character. For example, Black Canary literally has powers whereas Black Widow doesn't, but I think they share enough similarities to the point that it just makes sense for Black Canary to be on this team. Finally, for Martian Manhunter taking on the role of Hulk. Hulk. There really is no Hulk type of character in DC. I think the closest you would get to that is Damage, but I'm pretty sure Damage is a villain, not a hero, so that wouldn't work. Martian Manhunter is green. He can take on different alien forms and make himself bigger. He's super strong. It'll work. Team 2, we're going with Shazam, Flash, Adam, Red Tornado, Zatanna, and Superman. If it's not obvious, Shazam is going to be taking on the role of Thor. Just without the hammer, Shazam can almost operate in a similar way when it comes to lightning and thunder, so I thought it worked. Once again, another really obvious choice here. If Quicksilver is on an Avengers team for DC, it has to be the Flash. Barry, Wally, Bart, Jay, I don't care which Flash you choose, one of them will do. Another super obvious pick here, Adam for Ant-Man. I've always really appreciated appreciated Adam, and for some reason when I think of the character, if DC was to literally have a carbon copy Avengers team, I just feel like Adam would need like, I mean need to be on this team. I would even make an argument that he could potentially be the leader. If you got Vision on an Avengers squad, that's why I threw in Red Tornado. They're similar in the sense of maybe appearance in a way, 
but more so the fact that they're both robots or androids. Vision may be far more powerful than Red Tornado, but Red Tornado can do some pretty crazy things in the DC universe. I think he'd be good on the team. Then I'm also using Zatanna as the replacement for Scarlet Witch. Once again, Scarlet Witch may be way more powerful than someone like Zatanna, but even in saying that Zatanna is herself stupid powerful. She tends to be the very common magic user in the DC universe who's really good at working with other people. Then I threw Superman as the Captain America role in this team again because I feel like this team would need solid leadership and I feel like who better than Superman. This team is going to need somebody who's going to understand what it's like to get into battle and also how to potentially rally around together when things get really difficult. We all know that Superman technically has a vulnerability to magic. This really won't matter in this case. They're working with him, not against him. For Team 3, I put Cyborg, Nightwing, Raven, Arsenal, Kyle Rayner's Green Lantern, and Bumblebee. With this team, I decided to go a little more for a Teen Titans vibe, but in a sense, they would be more Titans, just subtracting the team. They'd be much more adult and mature. They'd be a team who would be worthy of the name The Avengers. Cyborg is going to take on the Iron Man vision role. Obviously, he's more robotic than he is human. He's basically the master of all computers. He can tap into any bit of technology he wants. In a lot of ways, Cyborg is almost unstoppable. I could make a case for Cyborg actually being the leader, considering if you take the Flashpoint storyline, Cyborg was basically the Superman of that world. And if you want to take that particular characterization of the character, he would be a very good leader for this team. Nightwing, believe it or not, I've chosen for him to be the Captain America role he kind of turns into a very hopeful person the older he gets. And honestly, kind of becomes a natural born leader. As much as Nightwing does resemble Batman in a lot of ways and learned a lot from his teachings, he does have a ton of leadership qualities. I don't want to say he didn't learn from Batman, but that is definitely not one of the lessons that Batman would prioritize. Another Scarlet Witch parallel is Raven. You could argue that maybe Scarlet Witch is more similar to Raven than she is Zatanna. Regardless, that's why I put her on the team. I feel like this team is going to need some really creepy finger formations and really weird magical terms and Raven's got you covered, along with how crazy powerful she is. Once again, kind of an obvious pick here, but for the Hawkeye role, I went with Arsenal. If this is going to be more of the Teen Titans-esque group, you can't go Green Arrow, you gotta go as Underling. And there are even times where I honestly think Arsenal could beat Green Arrow. He is pretty crazy talented. And he's willing to go to certain extents that Green Arrow will not. With Kyle Rayner, I decided to go with him because after Hal Jordan, I always feel like he's a prodigal son of the Green Lantern Corps. Also, in certain continuities, he tends to be a little younger and learns from other Green Lanterns, such as Guy Gardner, Jon Stewart, and others. So within this version of a squad, I thought he'd be a good pick, and he will be replacing Captain Marvel. And then Bumblebee, quite a forgotten DC character. Somebody who I'm pretty sure made her first appearance as a Teen Titan. She will be taking on the role of the Wasp. And even though I do not believe these teams would necessarily need a character like that, I had to throw them in for at least one team just to show respect to the fact that Wasp was an original Avenger and the fact that Bumblebee made her debut in a Teen Titans comic book. Now, when I look at Team 4, arguably this might be the most outlandish team of the four. In this team, I put Steel, Captain Adam, Dr. Fate, Hawk Girl or Hawk Man, your choice, but I'm going to throw in Hawk Girl, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman. Steel, I closely resembled to being the Iron Man of the team, but also Steel is part of the Superman family, and whenever you have a member of the Superman family on your team, you can't go wrong. He's also got his own version of a hammer, which is drawing a very similar resemblance to Thor, so it's kind of the best of both worlds here. Captain Adam, I resembled to Captain America, simply just because I believe Captain Adam could be a natural 
natural born leader and his appearance, the little symbol on his chest, how he looks, I almost feel like could become a beacon of hope to the people around him. Obviously, there's no similarity when it comes to power, outfit, or shield. It's just maybe characteristics. Doctor Fate is obviously the Doctor Strange. Now, in my personal opinion, Doctor Fate and Doctor Strange actually have a ton of differences about them. But of course, when you're going to be comparing Marvel and DC, they're both doctors. They both do magic. When you look at them on surface levels, I understand why they are compared. So just to make things easier, that's the route I took it. Dr. Fate is here. So then to take on the role for Falcon, who I got to be honest with you, I actually don't even really like this character, but I did find a similarity within DC, who I do actually really like, Hawk Girl or Hawkman. They're aliens, they wear cool armor, carry around a mace, they got super strength of their own. They would be worthy to be on a team, and I mean, hey, if they can belong on a Justice League, they could belong on an Avengers. Once again, filling in for the role of Thor will be Wonder Woman. Already explained this earlier. Don't need to really explain it again. And then I just needed to get him in at least one team and I had to use the counterpart. Filling in for Namor is going to be Aquaman. Now, I really don't know if Namor would ever be part of the Avengers or if he ever has been part of the Avengers. Once again, just to make things more simple, I thought I at least had to do it once. As I said for reasons before, before, I feel like the leader of this team would have to be Captain Adam, but I would not pass up the potential of Steel being the leader as well. So there you go, guys. There are four potential teams of the Avengers within the DC universe using DC characters. Now, I'm sure there are other characters out there that could have been used. Some of you might have used or some of you might make an explanation or a reason to have used in the first place. And that's why now I want you in the comments below. Let me know which team here you like and let me know what your DC's Avengers team would look like. But with that being said, I'm very happy a lot of you are liking these videos. I'm going to keep these coming as much as possible because eventually I will run out of teams at one point, but today is not the day for that. So that is all I have for you on this one, everyone. So until next time, I will talk to you all very soon.